It feels great. You know, I know it sounds silly, but there's so many Irish Americans like my relatives who got here, got to America in 1844, 45, and 46, who've never been back here. And they talk about it. The interesting thing, I know many of you have the same experience with your ancestry wherever the country of, of origin was. But you hear all these stories about you know, what it was like back in Ireland, they heard from their parents and grandparents and great grandparents. And the thing, my first trip over here, when I went to the point, and I looked down and I, my grandfather Finnegan used to say, his grandfather, Owen Finnegan, used to say, Scranton, Pennsylvania is just like the Boyne Valley. And I thought, how could that be? Well, you stand there and you look, and Scranton, there's a river runs through it called the Lackawanna River and a mountain on either side in the valley where we live. You could look down and see, you could see how a hundred years earlier it would be, it would look like the boy. And uh, there's all those things. Anyway, it's just so great to always have an excuse to come back. Could you give an update on that investigation? I, I, I can't right now. There is a full-blown investigation going on, as you know, with the intelligence community and the Justice Department, and they're getting close. I don't have an answer. Oh, Mr. President, just a question on that. Are British secrets safe in American hands? Yeah. Are you concerned about the leak? Well, I, I'm, I'm not concerned about the leak. I'm concerned that it happens. But there's nothing contemporaneous that I'm aware of that is of great consequence. What would you like to see to which was uh, put forward in, in, in 2008 by Mary McAleese to mark the 10th anniversary of the Good Friday Agreement, so that's the significance of the peace bill. 25 years on from the Good Friday Agreement, what are your hopes for the next 25 years for the people of Ireland, both jurisdictions? It gets even closer. That the, uh, I hope that the, that the government begins to function as it used to in the terms of functioning as a representative body in the North. I think that's necessary. And, uh, but that's for you all to decide, not for me to decide. But uh, I think that... Uh, I'm very, uh, I'm very proud of my colleague George Mitchell. I think he did a fine yes. job. As he said, "300 days of failure, and one day of success." And we got to build on that one day continuum. Thank Mr. you, Mr. President. Can I have Mr. A President, are British secrets safe in American hands, Mr. President? Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. I'm, I'm Henry McLean from New Scotland Radio Island, and Robert Smith. All right, those are. Who's going to take the selfie from the camera? Oh, isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? My great great grandfather left from the same port five weeks later after Barack's great -grand great great grandfather. And the idea that they both would seek a new life and think that the, the great great grandsons and end up being president of the United States is remarkable. Just because that's like, that's the Irish. Thank you. 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 Thank